All right, guys. Welcome back to the channel. We were doing some troubleshooting the other day. My buddy's truck he had no brake lights. One of the first things you always want to check before you start digging into the wiring harness is your fuses. It's the quickest, the uh, easiest thing to check. So it doesn't really take a long time. And uh, I'd probably say at least half the time it's a fuse is going to be your problem. Anyways, it dawned on me that not everybody knows some of the easiest ways to check a fuse. Of course, you could take the fuse out and visually inspect it, pull the fuse, put it up to the sun, hold it up to the sunlight, and see if the actual fuse is blown right. Uh, taking one out one by one, that would that would take take you quite a while, especially if you don't have a fuse uh, panel diagram then you'd have to be sitting there checking every single fuse. Let's just say you don't know uh, which fuse might be blown. Uh, you can check all your fuses in a fuse panel within a minute or two using uh, these tools right here, either a light probe or a multimeter. Light probe is probably the easiest one, but a multimeter will also work. So. So each of these fuses has two sides, right? And they're connected by the actual fuse link in the middle. Uh, this bottom row is, uh, they only come on with the key. I know that by memory. Uh, most of these top ones are all on the uh, 12 volt constant off the battery. And I can prove that right there. See, the key's off and I've got 12 volts right there. There's not a fuse there, that's just a Actual fuse panel is hot. So, to check your fuses using the light probe, all you have to do is on the back of each fuse is touch both sides. We're going to test this 25 amp fuse, this white one. You can see I got a good 12 volts there. And there it is again on the other side of the fuse. I got 12 volts. That tells me this fuse is good. We can go to the next one. Go to the next one. I got 12 volts on the bottom, 12 volts on top, 12 volts on the bottom, 12 volts on top, 12 volts on the bottom, 12 volts on top. You can see how much faster this would be than sitting here pulling each fuse out. It would take me forever to sit here and pull all these fuses out. This one right here, it might be on a on the key. Cause I can't get nothing on each side. That one's good. Good. Also, side note, these maxi fuses, they work like circuit breakers. Uh, if it blows, if you just let it cool off, it'll reset itself. So there's, you really don't ever need to replace these style, these maxi fuses. So on the multimeter, you don't need an expensive multimeter, a cheap one like this uh, Anova. I don't even know what model this is. I couldn't color it is right there. Three three zero six. I'm sure this is not an expensive multimeter. It's just a cheap Arbor Freight or something. But uh, to check your check your fuses with this, there's two ways we can go about it. Uh, probably the easiest way to check your fuses is on continuity mode. This symbol right here almost looks like radar or something. You would put it on that mode, and you know you're in the right mode whenever you touch the two probes together. They beep. That's continuity mode. So, whenever you have a good fuse, and you're in continuity mode, 
doesn't matter which size which as far as red or black you would touch both sides of the fuse at the same time and if it beeps your fuse is good good that one's good that one's good good just to prove it i'll flip the two probes around it doesn't matter which way is which that's good just good so this uh, the red or black when you're testing for uh, fuses it doesn't matter so all you want to do is hear a beep if you probe it and then it doesn't beep then you got a bad fuse and the other way with the multimeter you can test these is on a dc because we're on dc 12 volts on, a, on just about every truck what I've worked on has always been your heavy equipment might be 24 volts like your uh, loaders and dozers and stuff but all these big trucks are going to be uh, 12 volts like 99 percent of them so you put in dc volt this is a uh, what you're going to want to do is it's going to get a little tricky but you would want to ground out your black probe on a metal surface some sort of metal surface somewhere you're going to hold it there and with your red one, you'll touch the uh, both sides of the fuse. And you should read 12 volts on both sides of the fuse. So let me find a good ground first and uh, we'll test this out. All right, so like I said, you're gonna wanna ground out your black probe. I've got mine grounded out on the door frame. And we're going to check your fuses. Let's come up here to the top ones that I know that are hot. I'm going to touch one side of the fuse. I got 13 volts right there. And if I test the other side of the back of the fuse, I should have 13 volts as well. So, yep, there it is, 13. 13 on both sides. So what I'm doing is, is probing both sides like this and like this. And I should get the same reading on both sides. Let me turn the key on so I can get some power on these. I'm going to turn the key on. All right, so I got the key on now. And uh, I got nothing right now. I got millivolts, which is nothing. MV millivolts. And when I probe the back of this fuse, I got 13.14 volts. You can see the little V right there. 13.15, 13.14 volts. That's the other side. 13.15 that tells me that fuse is good and there you go 13 1 13 1 13 1 and 13 1 and so on and so forth again like i said you can see how this would be so much faster than sitting here and pulling every single fuse out and and checking it i got no power over here see this is I don't know what this fuse is for, but it's got no power on either side. So, as you can see, having one of these light probes or a multimeter in your truck, that can be very handy. I think every truck should have one. Because, uh, It'll help diagnose your problems so much faster. Of course, you can use these tools when diagnosing other problems as well. You know, trying to find a broken wire. Trying to see if uh, your batteries are dead. This will tell you if your batteries are dead. If I had to pick one, one or the other, I'd probably, get, I'd probably go with the multimeter. Just because you can do a lot more with it. I love the continuity feature. I love the, you know, the actual voltage readout. It'll let you know if you got a low battery. You know, with the voltage, it can even tell you if you got maybe a, maybe you don't have a broken wire running through your fuse panel, but maybe you've got one that's uh, chafed and some of the copper has been damaged inside the wire. And so you'll be losing some voltage. And you'll be able to diagnose that on this DC mode right here.
of course, when you start getting a little bit more in depth, and uh, there'll be a different video, but you can even test sensors, all your sensors with the ohm reading. But anyways, guys, y'all make sure y'all get one or the other. Keep it in your truck. I thought I'd just share that because not everybody knows that and trying to share with a little, little bit of knowledge, knowledge I got. You know, we all we all got to eat. I know when I first started out, uh, I didn't know nothing. I've been doing this for 10 years now, and uh, I know a little something now. So I'm going to try to share some tips and tricks along the way on uh, how to keep these trucks running. So y'all please subscribe, leave a comment. Thanks.